Hey everybody, this is Raina coming to you with a quick video on the Smash Journal. Um, it's all the rage, I guess that's what everybody's saying anyway, that it's all the rage. And um, I saw one at Archivers and I thought, well, it's so cute, I think I can do my own. So anyway, I, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I came home and I watched some YouTube videos and I'll have the names of um, the videos that you can watch that I watched to put this together if you like and um, just a couple of names that I remember um, at the moment off my off the top of my head are Chicken Scratch and also Yoli and Yoli has a link to another lady um, who helped her um, to put her smash journal together um, her smash journal or junk journal um, mine isn't going to really have junk in it so I thought maybe I just keep the smashed and you know not have the junk but um, anyway without further ado here is my uh, my smash journal and I hope you like it and um, come back and let me know what you think um, any ideas anything like that you guys know I'm super girly so here it is okay here's my smash journal okay um, just a few quick things um, before I go any further like I said uh, Yoli is the one that I got this from and also um, there's tons of videos on YouTube to learn how to do this but anyway um, this is my journal and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of some of the things um, just to show you real quick um, my buttons um, you know well first here let me just open it um, I know everybody has like the bind it all thing I don't have a bind it all nor do I have elastic um, to put in you know to kind of like keep it all together so I did the whole ribbon thing and I'll show you that in a minute um, but everything on this journal is going to mean something there's nothing new it's all from scraps from things that I've had before and so uh, so everything kinda means even these these stickers they're from stickers that I've had from years ago they were you know I, I had them and just never used them on anything my lace um, my pink pearls um, all these cute little buttons um, this um, little button here is to remind me of my doggies that we used to have but when um, we moved we um, moved into an apartment uh, well actually it's a townhouse and we couldn't have doggies so we had to give our doggies up and so that reminds me of our doggies um, their names are Shadow and Simba and this heart here is just because I have a lot of love in my heart so that's there and then this here is uh, an apple for the teacher and I um, teach Sunday school and so that's the apple for the teacher and then this here is um, it's a flower with little pearls I don't know if you can really see that it has pearls in it or not but it's a little flower and excuse the stuff I have on my fingers I was just gluing um, but it's a flower with pearls in it for femininity because that's a big deal to me okay um, so anyway I have the ribbons like you know you'll see on the other other journals and let me open mine here I haven't done any work on the inside again this is part one um, you put your ribbons on and I mean you put your ribbon on and then you um, you can embellish if you want to some people have even put little um, what is charms on the end um, but I'm really big on these things I love it to have the little fi the, the little ribbon fibers hanging out there and of course I'll add more I think those are so cute okay so here's the cover front cover and here's the back cover and I don't know if you can see that but it says 2011 and then it says September when I made it okay and um, oh for your paper and I'll, I'll I hope we, I'll remember to do this too. You're going to do uh, one sheet 
of 12 by 12 paper cut in, in half at 6 inches. And then you'll do, um, for your binding, it's, um, it's also, it's 4 inches by 10 inches. And, and some people have done 10 and a quarter just so they, you know, they can cut it off nicely. And this is also, after you cut your two 6 inches by 12, cut it down to 10 and then it'll fit on there easier. And you can see I did some inking around the edge and on the front. There's some inking down around the edge. Okay. So you open it up. And... Um, so anyway, like I said, I just got started, so, um, here is, this part here is who I am. I'm a daughter, wife, mother, sister, aunt, grandmother, and this just has, you know, who I am to all these people. And this is a cute little sticker I've, I've had that, you know, I haven't, I haven't used. So I attached my ribbon with that. And then I have some tags that come out. This is R for Raquel. And this one here is C for Clifton. That's my last name. And again, you know, more stuff that I've never used. Now this one is like a true testament of how you just use your scraps and use stuff that, you know, you're not really used to using. Hold on, pull that up there a little bit. Okay, so... This is all about me, and that's what it says. You know, it may be hard to read, but it's all about me. And this is an exclamation point. This is the ampersand. And the reason why I did that is because I'm, I was using scraps, so um, I don't have all the letters that look like this, and I don't have all the letters that are in this color. I have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And this is, you know, just my bow and stuff like that. And this is my flower and the cute little honeybee. And this flower, um, I've had, hold on, let me go up here a little bit. This flower I've had since I started scrapbooking and never used it. Just, just never used it. So, anyway, that's my flower. Okay, and so this is, this is really page one. This is the inside of my front binder. This is the front with the ribbon and... So after that, I haven't done anything yet. I've inked up my pages just a little. Um, I haven't done any of the crinkling of the paper or anything like that. Um, and I don't know if I will. I know I'm going to put paper on like I did this one. Um, but I have, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. Okay, and so here is my last page. And my last page is just a bunch of words. Um, that I had on a sticker sheet and they're all good words that I like and so I use them to do my back panel and here's my other ribbon here on the back and joy live yada yada so anyway and that's the back and here's the end of my book so anyway this is part one and so I hope you like it I know I do I love it I love it and I probably will be doing one for my girlfriend. She doesn't know that yet, but um, she's so sweet. She'll probably use it as a prayer journal, I'm sure. But anyhow, um, that's my journal, and I just wanted to show you kind of the beginnings of it. Thanks for looking, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.